Hello and welcome to the first video on the Puma Pay Business Console for Merchant Use. Over the course of the next few videos, I'm going to show you how to set up your business console, connect your Puma Pay treasury and gas wallets, and also how to create your first billing model. But to get started with all that, I'm first going to show you how to set up your merchant account. So to get going, we need to head over to the Merchant Business Console at console.pumapay.io. And when the page loads, you'll see that we have our login page here. As we're new merchants setting up a new account, we'll have to go and click register here. So now we need to fill in our company details, like the company name, your email address, and also your password. For your password, you need to make sure that you have both upper and lower case lettering, and also one number and one symbol. And once you've filled in all these details here and you've read our terms of use and privacy policy, go ahead and click this box and then press continue. So after pressing continue, it's telling me I need to go and verify my email address. So I'm going to go and do that now. If you're having trouble locating the email, just double check your spam or junk folder. Alternatively, you can wait for this countdown here to go down and then press on the verification email link to resend your email. Okay, so I'm in my emails now, so I'm going to go ahead and verify my registration by clicking this link here. And I'll be taken back to the console and it's saying my account has now been confirmed. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in the email address and password that I set up earlier. And also the password. So now I'm ready to go ahead and start verifying my account. So we're going to get started now with the business de details. Okay, so I'm in the business details section now. And as you can see, we've got the details we need to fill in about the business and also about the account administrator. So to get started, we'll start at the top here with type of company. From the list, you need to select the one that most suits your business. So I'm going to select this one for me. And then I'm going to go ahead and start to fill in the details about my company and where it's based. And the zip code. And the state. So now I can fill in my business name here, which I've said is Puma TV, and the website. Now, when you select industry, again, the same rules apply. Just select the one that most suits your industry. I'm going to select video for me. And now I'm going to fill in the description of the products and services. So I'm going to say that I am Puma TV that sells educational material to business owners on a single and recurring billing basis. So here I've described what I sell, which is the educational material, my target audiences, which is the business owners and the types of billing model that I use, single and recurring. So now I can fill in the information about the business console account administrator. So I'm going to fill in the name here and also the phone number here. And then I'm going to go ahead and select the country code afterwards. Now I need to put in my job, CEO, and then press submit. So I've selected submit and this error message has just popped up. I'm going to have another look over my details, to double check that everything is still in order. So I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to just identify a couple of the key points where you might get pulled up by the system. For example, our postcode here has a space in. I'm going to remove this and see if it lets me continue now. Completed. So now that is everything is all in working order, I can move on to the verification. So after completing the business details section, I can now move on to the verification section. 
So here I'm taken to a page where I can upload my documents and for each field for identification and for proof of address I'm given two options either passport or national ID for identification or a utility bill or bank statement for proof of address. Of course you just want to upload the one that you think is going to be most suitable to you and make sure when you do upload it you upload it in one of these formats here and don't exceed a file size of 5 megabytes. So I'm going to go ahead and upload these now. I'm going to select the passport option for me and then just upload this now and for proof of address I'm going to use a utility bill for this so I'm going to upload this now as well. So now that I've uploaded those I'm just going to double check that everything I've uploaded is complete and correct and I'm seeing here that I can expect a reply on my application within one to two business days. So I'm going to upload my documents now. We'll just take a second. And everything seems to be in good working order. So I've now been taken back to the onboarding dashboard where I can see that my business details are now completed and my verification details are being checked. As this can take a few days, I'll be back once my account has been verified and we'll start to explore the business console and the Puma Pay wallets. So I'll see you then.